Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. All right, guys. Welcome back. So I want to do an update video on CKBTC and Lightning. I have a number of things I want to go over and just give a general update. Okay, I'm not going to be doing a thorough breakdown of both of them. I still have a lot more research to do, um, but I did buy some more ICP too. But for whatever reason, I'm having issues um, posting things in my community tab. It's just not loading, and that just started probably like two months ago. A lot of times I have to restart my phone, but anyways, I bought more ICP. Okay, so, all right, first I want to start with the end, okay? Um, guys, I've learned a lot just in the last few days, but I'm pretty sure some of y'all have too, and, and the main takeaway here is that learn as much as you can. Never just take somebody's blanket opinion-based statement as this is the end-all, be-all. You know, go find out for yourself. OK, go find out for yourself. And if it takes you a while to kind of make sense of it, that's perfectly fine. It takes me a while to make sense of it. And even sometimes I, I still don't understand it after spending a lot of time looking into it. But, you know, if, if there's if there's things that you're invested in and you, you have a vested interest in, in that and it's important to know how the competition stacks up. And it's important to know where your general solution stands relative to the field. So learn as much as you can, guys. All right. Never just take somebody's opinion just because, you know, they're whatever. They're a techie person or that they say that's the way that it is. OK, why has nobody brought this up yet? That's a question worth thinking about. And you can come to your own conclusions, guys. I'm going to do I'm trying to do less um, projecting my own opinion and more just asking critical questions. So has nobody thought about it? That's probably unlikely because, in my opinion, solving this issue with Bitcoin is one of the biggest problems in the space. Solving a similar but kind of different issue with Ethereum is – it's one and one A. Those are the two big things that have to be solved in this space. And in my opinion, um, I feel like ICP is significantly uh, far ahead in solving both of those issues. When you look at where everybody else is, just my opinion. Um, so has nobody thought about it? I think that's unlikely. And so let's look at possible other explanations. It is a known thing that CKBTC is a better option for lightning. And for whatever reason, it's being kept under the rug. Possible explanation? I don't know. I have no idea. You know, I, I'm just trying to make sense. I, I have to be able to make sense of things. Okay. I, I don't just... When, when there's very obvious questions that aren't being answered and like nobody's even asking them, like I just, that, that's just where my mind goes. And, and I, I have to try to pursue the question until I get to what I genu generally believe is the truth. So about my last video, my video that I put on my main channel, the first video, the CKBTC lightning video where the, you know, they had the red alarm and I put this is very important. I have never had an ICP video get that little reach. That video after it was like 30 hours in and it wasn't even it was it was well over 24 hours in and it wasn't even at 400 views. The lowest viewed ICP video that I've done, I believe, got in the 900s. So I've never had an ICP video get under 900 views. And I've done a decent amount of them. And, you know, I just thought that was interesting. I just thought it was interesting. I have no idea why that happened. You know, I'm not suggesting that that video was, was, was you know, purposefully nuked. But, you know, I did notice a trend in my last few videos where they just weren't really getting that much reach. Um, you know, I'm never going to come out and say that I think YouTube is, um, you know, suppressing my channel. But, you know, I just I'm a general believer of very important things are not going to be promoted by the algorithm and very stupid and hyperbolic and dramatic things are going to be promoted by the algorithm. And, you know, I don't need to get in, into it any further than that. Okay. So I'm not sure if anyone else is going to be able to create a comparable solution guys, because, you know, in, in theory, you would need comparable technology and they don't have it. I, again, chain key and what their canisters can do relative to other smart contracts. It is such a huge differentiator. It's just superior software at the end of the day, okay? And so think about this. And, and, and really, it's really about the base, the base level technology. 
because that that's what's going to be built like this one Bitcoin integration. And, and this was if you think back to the video I did on Thanksgiving and I was, you know, and I was talking about I think something's going on. And I was talking about the Bitcoin integration. I said, guys, if they can scale this. And then I was like, I, I'm struggling to find words. It's going to be that big. And I wasn't even thinking about a lot of these things. You know, it, it was big just in my mind before I even really understood how big it really is. And I probably still don't. I probably still don't understand. Um, so I just don't know if anybody's going to be able to create a comparable solution. All right. So I, I want to go over a big differentiator here with Lightning Network and CKBTC. But I do want to reference um, DeFi Wizards wrote an article about this. And hey, if for whatever reason, if you watch this video, I wasn't just purposefully not going to come on any Twitter spaces. I'm just banned on Twitter. So, I mean, I, I did join a Spaces once, like back, like right around the time I got banned, maybe like a month after. But I don't even know if I can do, I mean, I can't post, I can't share anything. And it says there's a big banner that comes up when I log in and it says, you know, you're banned or I, I forget exactly what it says. Um, but anyways, she mentioned something in here that I think is really important. And it kind of, I'm going to elaborate on it because I mentioned this the other day, but I didn't. I have a better way to explain it. So when I was talking about network effects and how big picture, how CKBTC and ICP's network effects will be a huge differentiator over Lightning. And, you know, I genuinely believe that, but I have a better way to explain it. And, and I kind of, you know, got this from, from reading her article. But so with Lightning, why would you use Lightning for faster, cheaper Bitcoin payments? That's the only reason you would use Lightning. Why would you use CKBTC? Well, payments, DeFi, SocialFi, gaming, um, selling this blog in tokenized format. You know, there's so many additional applications. And so you look at all and and the Ethereum integration is coming up, which is going to have add so many additional users network effects say what you want to about ethereum guys a lot of very popular ethereum based quote unquote applications have a lot of users and there's just a lot of network effects here guys so when you take this into consideration and, and i mean it's, it's just icp is bringing everything together and it's really solving the biggest problems in the space right now in my opinion so this is a better way to explain it why would you use lightning payments why would you use ckbtc payments d buy social buy gaming on metaverse on and on and on and on okay canisters are just superior software in my opinion um y'all saw this a lot of y'all were posting this today but i do want to make a point about this um and you know base giant and michael gerard both made these points so michael was talking about how you know just using this as opposed to like your hardware wallet and a couple others made this point too i believe kenny and you know base giant was making some good points when he was he posts a lot of really great threads about icp but when he was talking about the Solana phone and, you know, how they're acting like this is some new groundbreaking technology when they were talking about like the fingerprint for signing transactions or whatever it may be. And like the ICPs already figured this out. And if you think about it, just look at the other networks and other cryptocurrency that could be here outside of just, you know, ICP and Bitcoin. And, you know, this could kind of turn into an everything wallet that is on chain. That is on an open, public, democratized network where you already have, if you choose, for those additional layers of security when it comes to fingerprint or facial scan, like that, that's already built in. So, I mean, guys are just they're 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 pretty they're pretty far they're pretty far out. They really they really are. They're pretty far out as far as the gap between what they're doing with their tech and the development that's happening and everything else. And that's because in my opinion, everything else is not trying, all these other things are not really trying to do a lot of these, a lot of this. Uh, a lot of them are targeting the enterprise space, which is perfectly fine. And that's a huge market. And I'm just saying that like target markets and use case are really important. And, 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 and but because the content creators have made everybody believe that these are just all the same thing. That's really the problem. And they all and, and they've all just had the same use case and it's all the same. And it's just, you know, and, and anyways. OK, so um, I don't really have guys. I, I got to make this shorter because they're going to cut me off at 15 minutes. They won't they won't let me upload the video. I tried that just a little while ago and it was 16 minutes and they wouldn't let me upload it. But um, this is a good video to watch. It's talking about the Lightning Network. Yes. 
the title suggests inherent bias, yes, but I'm, he does a good job breaking this down. And I need to see, like, I need to see, like, general designs and things. I, I, it helps me to see visuals, right? Um, and then I read the Lighting Network, the general white paper they put out. But this is a good video if you want to go check it out. It will probably better help you understand the design and the routing for the channels, okay? So they have a channel design, slow onboarding, slow onboarding. Um, and the general design and the architecture creates a dependency on centralized third parties to make onboarding easier, for more liquidity, to stay connected. And I just think there's too many scaling issues with the design and the architecture here. Um, you know, I, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a technical expert, but I mean, I'm, I'm not the only person that thinks that either. And, and you know, Daniel from Crypto is good. And so Marler, Marler both make great points. Um, it was Daniel that referred it to like an IOU versus a one-to-one -one clone. And then so, so Marler said something very similar. And I mean, it, it's when you really understand how this works and you look at how CKBTC works and you understand all the additional network effects that ICP has and you understand what's coming with Ethereum, it's just... Uh, I mean, the picture, in my opinion, becomes clearer and clearer the more I look into this. But, you know, nothing's ever a sure thing. This is not financial advice. I could be wrong. Do your own research. So things to remember, it is early for ICP, guys. I mean, for all re in all reality, CKBTC just launched. But, guys, their tech is growing exponentially. They just launched two years ago. They launched two years ago. And companies and technologies and software companies have been trying to solve this problem for years, for five, six, seven, eight years. And there's tons of other companies trying to solve Ethereum's problems. There's tons of people working on this and they launched two years ago and they're already solving a lot of these problems. I did buy more ICP. I don't know if I already said that. Um, right now, as, as ICP is implementing, think about this guys, as ICP is implementing solutions, what's also happening? The problems with both of these networks simultaneously are being highlighted. Really think about that. Really think about that. Okay. So learn as much as you can, guys. Just want to go over that again. Um, and if you want to make content, I think this would be your time. And I think it would be a good idea if you do want to make content, especially like you ICP people. I think it would be worthwhile. Uh, I really do. And if nothing else, just to accurately inform the next group of people that come in, because what they're probably going to end up doing is they're probably going to get caught up watching a lot of idiots looking at the chart all day, telling them that they think ICP is going up or down, and they're going to miss out on one of the biggest things ever um, because they just, they're just they never educated on what this actually is. That's all I have for this video. I got to cut it there. This was not financial advice. Take care. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video.